Welcome. Today I'd like to share a tiny little tidbit from geometry. It's a great little exercise for kids once they've studied angles uh, in a basic geometry course. So the challenge is, draw yourself a random five-pointed star, like the wobbly one I've just drawn here. And let's look at the five angles at the points of the star. I'll call them angle A, B, C, D, and E. And I claim something wonderful is true about those five angles, no matter which wobbly five-pointed star you draw. In fact, the challenge is to prove that the sum of those five angles is something nice, and you can probably guess by the psychology of things in a geometry course, that nice thing is either the number 180 or 360 degrees. Turns out, I want half a turn. Prove that those five angles correspond to half a turn. Well, there's a couple of ways to do it, but one really sort of neat, quick way to do it is to use a little fact about triangles, that if I have two interior angles, which I call X and Y, and I extend one side and ask for a value of the exterior angle, in that remote vertex, can we find a formula for it? Well, it turns out the other interior angle must be 180, whoops, minus x minus y, and since 100 degrees on a straight line, this, mean, this means that this exterior angle must be the sum of those two interior angles, remote interior angles. So we'll use this fact, that one exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the two distant interior angles. And let's apply this fact two places within the five-pointed star. First of all, look at a triangle that involves angles b, whoops, B and D. And I'm going to look at this exterior angle here, and by what we just proved, that exterior angle must be the sum of the two remote interior angles. That must be B plus D. And let's do it again. Let's now apply it to the triangle with angles E and C in it. There it is in red. And if I do the exterior angle just yonder, this exterior angle must be the sum of the two remote interior angles. It must be C plus E. And there we have it. If we look at this triangle right here, with angle A, we say that angle A plus angle C plus E plus angle B plus D correspond to the three angles of a triangle. That must be 180 degrees. Grand! Now, of course, the question is, can you say anything interesting, interesting about the angles in a six-pointed star or a seven-pointed star or an eight-pointed star? And now we're on a research track. Thanks very much.